Um, so what I want to talk about today is uh, why we eat, how we know when we're hungry, um, how we decide how much we want to eat, um, which things we like to eat, uh, what we want to eat and when. We eat every day and there's all kinds of signals in our bodies that tell us how to eat. So a lot of people when they want to correct people's diet or judge someone's diet will say just just have more willpower, just use more of your brain, just choose better things. Um, and I guess what I want to tell you is it's not that simple. There's all kinds of parts of our wonderful bodies that tell us what to eat, when and why. Our body wants what's best for us, but sometimes it gets a little bit confused. So all of that is your food brain, and I like to say I'm with stupid. My food brain does not always know what's best for me. Sometimes my food brain plays tricks on me and leads me in the wrong direction. Um, and that's okay, um, but if you know what your food brain is doing, it can help you to make better decisions and get control of it. All right, on to what is clearly the most important part of the day, the veggies. I'm in my veggie dress. Veggies actually have compounds in them, the compounds that are good for us, that would actually kill us if we ate too much. Three kilos of broccoli and you are dead. <laughs> if we have too many of them, they are bad for us. Our bitter taste that makes veggies taste yucky is actually trying to protect us. It's going, this vegetable might be poison, this plant might not be something you should eat, just check that first. The more times we eat them, the less those signals are sent and the better it tastes. So if you want to learn to like your veggies, you just got to eat them more. All right, so obviously the, the molecular basis of how all that works is what I study. I want to know how we can change or harness those molecular differences in people to give everyone the healthy options that they need that are still tasty. I want to know how we can use that knowledge to get the shame out of eating and stop just telling people to make better decisions and actually give them things that can work with their biology. And I think we've got a lot of people in nutrition and dietetics who are just wagging their fingers at people and saying, just feed your kids better, mums. Just eat better, dads. Everyone, just pick up fruit, eat vegetables. It's not always that easy because we live in a complicated society. Sometimes we make bad, bad food decisions because of time. Sometimes we just need to eat food because we're running between appointments or we're about to get on a plane. A big driver, I study taste, I study flavor, I study the biology of food, but it comes down to money. If food is not affordable, if it's not accessible, people won't make those choices. So we can't tell the biology story without considering food cost and food accessibility. Um, so think about all these things next time you're making your food choices. Don't be hard on yourself. Remember your biology, remember your environment, but being aware of it can help you make better food choices. Um, so I hope you're all gonna go out and enjoy your veggies that little bit more today and kids who don't like them, you don't have to eat all of them, but you've got to taste them. Before you say no to mum, you've got to put it in your mouth, chew it up so your brain learns that it's not a poison, okay? Promise? Good man. <laughs>